all men vending cars, all men touring buses. This is the country's first demonstration project of all space all men applications from the earth to the skies. On this vast airspace above Luogang Park, we carry out various experimental projects. We want to show everyone what our transportation system will look like in the future and how life would become. This aircraft is known as Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft, or EVTO. But it has a simpler name, Air Taxi. It flies at a much lower altitude than the traditional aircraft does. The company has become the first one in China to receive industry approval for fully autonomous passenger carrying air taxis. At present, this equipment is used for tourism, urban air traffic, emergency rescue and logistics, and firefighting in tall buildings. The core technology is that the vehicle is unmanned. This is the first step towards the future of hailing taxis in the sky. Anhui province has led the development in this sector with over 300 companies already in its fold. The government said the scale of low-altitude economy in this province has exceeded 40 billion yuan, or about 5.5 billion U.S. dollars, in 2023. And that is just the beginning. We have designated 54 low-altitude pilot airspaces and opened 43 low-altitude routes. In 2023, the province had nearly 9,700 hours of general aviation flights and 1.44 million hours of drone flights. China on March 27th issued an action plan to promote the innovation of general-purpose aircraft equipment. All manned drones are expected to be used commercially in various sectors, including urban air transport, logistics and emergency rescue by 2027.